Hi guys, today we are going to study about a superposition theorem. Superposition theorem states that in any linear bilateral network having two or more voltage sources, then the current through any branch is the algebraic sum of the currents produced by each source acting alone when all the sources are replaced by their internal resistances replaced by their internal resistances okay so while solving uh, the circuit by using superposition theorem if you found any voltage source then the terminals are short circuited if you found any current source then the terminals are open circuited okay so here once i will tell you the statement for superposition theorem uh, by using this circuit see, see carefully so according to superposition theorem superposition theorem states that when a network is having two or more sources okay here this network is having two voltage sources okay then the current through the branch the current through the branch see here uh, let us say this is the i1 dash current f flowing through this branch the current through the branch is the algebraic sum of the currents produced by each source acting alone so let us consider i1 is the current due to this uh, source e1 okay and I2 is the current. I2, I2 will flow in this direction. I2 is the current in this direction. Let us consider I2 dash is the current flowing through this branch due to this source. Okay. Then the total current in this branch is algebraic sum of the currents. What is the algebraic sum of the currents? Here algebraic sum of the currents is I1 dash I1 dash plus I2 is flowing in opposite direction minus I2 dash. Okay. So whenever we found whenever we found a voltage source without any internal resistance then that source is short circuited okay that source is short circuited here internal resistance r1 is given okay if you found any current source without any uh, internal resistance then what we have to do is we have to open circuit we have to open circuit those terminals okay now i will explain the superposition theorem by considering this network in step by step manner Okay, so here we have two voltage sources E1 and E2. Superposition theorem states that the response of E1 and the response of E2. These two responses is nothing but the current flowing through the branch. Okay, so let us consider, let us consider this one. Okay, so what, what is this one? the e2 source is e2 source is replaced with replaced with replaced with internal resistance r2 internal resistance okay this e2 source is replaced with internal resistance r2 let us see here this is e2 this e2 is replaced with the internal resistance R2. Okay. Internal resistance R2. This is the branch R. Now, let us assume due to this voltage source, a current I1 is flowing like this. Okay. So, and I1 is dividing at this node into two currents that is one along this branch let us say that is i1 dash that is i1 dash okay now 
let us consider the total resistance that is equivalent resistance of this circuit as let us consider R1. What is the total resistance of this circuit? R and R2. These two resistors are in parallel and this parallel combination is in series with one more resistance. What is that one? The internal resistance of voltage source E1. What internal resistance of voltage source E1. Okay, this parallel combination is in series with a resistance R1. Is in series with resistance R1. So the total resistance, equivalent resistance is R1 plus the parallel combination of R and R2. R into R2 by R plus R2. This is the total resistance. Now, what is the current flowing I1? I1 is equal to E1 by R1. E1 by R1. And current through the branch R. Current through R is considered as I1 dash. I1 dash is equal to here what we have to use? We have to use a current division rule. Current division rule. What is current division rule? Whenever a current source is present, let us say it is I. Okay, having two parallel resistors R1 and R2. Then if you want to find the current through this resistance R1. Let us say this is I1. I1 is equal to IR2 by R1 plus R2. Okay, here we are using the current division rule. The current through R is I into what we have considered here. The current flowing is I1 into opposite resistance R2 by total resistance R plus R2. Okay, so this is the current due to E1 source. Okay, current due to source E1. Okay, now let us consider the circuit with only E2 source. Okay, here E2 is having internal resistance R2 and E1 is replaced with its internal resistance R1. R1. Okay, now for this circuit, let us consider equivalent resistance as R2. R2 is equal to R2 is equal to R2 plus R into R1 by R plus R1. So what is this one? E2 is having internal resistance R2. That R2 is in series with the parallel combination of these two resistances. That is R2 plus R into R1 by R plus R1. Okay. Now the current I2, let us say, let us say I2 will flow in this direction. Why? Because this is the positive terminal and this one is the negative terminal. I2 will flow in this direction. Let us say the current division is taking place here. Consider this as I2 dash. Okay, this one as I2 dash. Now what is I2? I2 is the Response of the source E2. I2 is equal to E2 by R2. E2 by R2. So, what is I2 dash again? We have to deal with the current division rule. I2 dash is equal to I2. I2 total current I into opposite resistance. What is the opposite resistance? R1 by 
R plus R1. Okay. So, this is the current due to this source E2. Current due to this source E2. Okay. Now, what is the total current flowing through the branch? The total current flowing through the branch is C. Let us consider this circuit. Due to E1, I is the current flowing. I1, sorry, I1 is the current flowing. And at this point, current division is taking place. I1 dash is flowing in this direction. And due to E2, the current flowing is, let us say, I2. In this direction, at this junction, current division is taking place and this is I2 dash. This is I2 dash. So, according to superposition theorem, the response of algebraic sum of the sources, response of algebraic sum of the Algebraic sum of the responses. So that is uh, the total current flowing through the resistance. Let us consider IR is the current flowing through this resistance is algebraic sum of the currents flowing. That is I1 dash plus I2 dash. Okay. If you consider this is the, uh, this is in one direction. I2 dash is in opposite direction. Opposite direction. So, I1 dash plus minus I2 dash is the current flowing through flowing through branch R branch R okay so this is about superposition theorem thank you